Let me give you a quick update of what's happening at the House of Representatives the first week of April 2011. And we have quite a budget mess that's going on that you're going to hear a lot from the news. The normal budget process is that the party that's in the leadership, right now that's the Republicans that are in the majority, they will work through forming a budget and they'll propose that budget in mid-April. In mid-April they'll do what's called a markup. I'm on the budget committee, uh, committee for the House of Representatives. Next week on Wednesday, we'll have a markup hearing where Democrats and Republicans will come together. We'll lay out our plan for the next year that begins October the 1st and runs through September 30th of next year, 2012. So that's the normal plan. Then we'll send our markup once it's finished to the rest of the House to be reported, and then they'll start authorizing, and then what's called appropriations. There are 12 appropriations bills that have to be passed, and it actually allots the dollars into each different category. Now, I know that sounds very complicated, but that's the typical budget process. It was set up by a bill starting in 1974 that each Congress has done a budget, has then authorized different sections of that budget, and then it has appropriated the dollars to it. That's happened every year except last year. Last year's Congress didn't do that process at all. There was no budget, there was no authorizing. We have 12 uh, appropriations bills, that is, 12 of those that were supposed to be passed. None of them were actually passed. So that makes next week quite a mess because we're working on releasing out the 2012 budget on schedule while we're still having to clean up the 2011 mess of things that were never done. To take you back even, they didn't do the, any of the appropriations bills last Congress. And at the end of the fiscal year, to keep from a government shutdown last year, uh, they passed a continuing resolution. It just continues on the budget the way it's been going for a few months until they can resolve a budget. They couldn't get it done, and so they passed another one last year, and they couldn't get that one done. And so in December, they punted to get to this Congress. So we've been working on a budget for this year right now, as well as for next year, and trying to do two processes at once, cleaning up last year's mess, working on this year's. Well, it's all come into this week. So when people are talking about a government shutdown, you're going to hear all kinds of budget numbers going on. Some of them large, some of them small, but some of them you're going to be hearing are 2012 numbers, some are 2011 numbers. I want to pass that on to you just to get you information so you'll know what's going on in the House. I want you to know I'm working very hard to avoid a government shutdown. I do not want that to occur. It's very painful for a lot of families. It's very confusing to a lot of agencies of what to do. I think it's the wrong direction to go, but we have got to start cutting our budget. We have $14 trillion in debt. We have over $1.5 trillion in deficit spending this year alone. We've got to get serious about cutting back spending if we're going to stabilize our economy and if we're going to continue to grow out of what's going on. So we have serious issues. We're taking those on. We don't want to deal with the government shutdown, but neither do I want my, my children and grandchildren to be paying the penalty for us trying to make it convenient for ourselves. We will be hard at work. Please contact our office. If we can help clarify, I'll try to do another one of these videos next week to catch up to speed with what's happening in the House of Representatives. Thanks. Get a good chance to visit with you.